Across the nation, change is in the air. A movement all about returning to our roots, knowing what's in our food, and supporting our regional economy. If you know the farmer, you can know the food, and then you can make it have a choice. You can choose what you want to eat. You can meet the farmer that's growing your food. We will bring you out into the field. We will show you where your food is being grown. Buying local allows you the educational experience of learning about where your food comes from and what quality food is about. We will tell you how we're growing your food and what we're putting on it, what we're not putting on it. We made a vow to become smaller retail organic growers so that we could know our know our CSA members, know our customers, and make sure that we all ate really nutritious and clean food. You can't get that at Walmart. You don't know where that food's coming from. It's definitely probably cheaper, but it's probably not as nutritious and it's not as good for the environment. You lose sight of everything that goes into um, good quality food if you're buying food only from a factory somewhere that's thousands of miles away. Fossil fuels are disappearing, our climate is changing, and we need farms and farmers. When you have the most nutrients is when it's fresh. And so freshest food is local. And so the sooner we can get it into our stores and into our bodies, the, the more nutrients it has in there. Our food is picked either that day or the night before, so it's nice and fresh. It's not sitting in a warehouse or on a truck. So the nutrients are there, um, you know, you're getting what you pay for. We've harvested it and it goes on the shelves and therefore actually the shelf life is even better. And you can really see where your food comes from. You can see the people that make it, you can hear about the quality of the milk, you can meet the animals. We do provide a lot of um, jobs both on the farm side and in the cheese plant for uh, a region that really is economically pretty downtrodden these days. Even with our CSA, you know, we have low income shares, we can work through the farmer's market with EBT, you know, those, those things are important. This is not just elitist food. And I really think that everybody deserves to have the cleanest food. The local food movement is coming to Schenectady. Meet the Electric City Food Cooperative. Together, with member owners from across the Capital Region and beyond, we're building a new full-time cooperative market in downtown Schenectady. There, we'll be featuring local, organic, and sustainably produced natural foods, highlighting the work of local farmers who devote their lives to sustaining our community. To have a place where we can connect those producers lo right here in our neighborhood, with consumers right in our neighborhood and strengthen the local economy. It's really important that small co-ops and small farms all work together so that we can make sure small farms stay viable. So that if something happens in another part of the country or another part of the world, we still can eat. Because this is our home, this is where we grew up, this is where we live, this is where our families are being raised. So it's important to keep it in the community and keep the community thriving and have good food to eat. People will hear, um, I'm your neighbor, or this is local, or it's naturally grown. You know, lots of labels out there. Well, it's greenwashing, you don't really know. It looks like people are being transparent, but it's not. People have lost um, touch with where our food comes from and in a bigger sense, getting back to where our food comes from and knowing where it comes from can help bring back a healthier food system. There's so much farmland around and so many active farms and to keep them in business, to keep them going, to keep our local food system alive and well, consumers have to be part of that. The future is bright. People are very interested in local, more so than they've ever been. And it's growing and building, and the more farmer's markets there are, and the more local places, stores where you can buy local food, the more people want it. If we rely on big grocery store Walmart food, um, which is coming from miles and miles from here, then we won't have that. It's exciting to me because I feel like when I was little, it, you know, nobody really thought about it, right? It was all about convenience. It was about being 
quick and fast and cheap, right? So to see that resurgence and to see the people coming back to the farm, you know, it's just, it's validation for what my father does and I love him. So like that just, it makes me feel good to know that like he did this for us and he's leaving this for us and we can carry on and continue this. It's definitely uh, something that's um, very uh, soul enriching to make something that is so specialized but also has an artistic component and have that be uh, your life's work that keeps the doors open. But we have to do it together. It's not like a single person can do this and have it sustainable. So we want to build a sustainable local food system that we all participate in. It's time for action. It's time for change. It's time for local.